Hello everybody and welcome to Against the Fence. In this video, we're going to be revisiting our end of 2021 champion predictions. Now, it's a video that uh, we, we put out probably about a couple of months ago, maybe eight, April, eight sort of now. March time. And um, if you haven't watched it already, don't worry, the link will be in description and you can watch it afterwards. But uh, basically in this video, we're going to be comparing the fighter rankings from back then and to now. And then also having a look at our picks to who we thought was going to win and whether they're still on for winning. Yeah, it's going to be pretty exciting. I mean, I can't really wait to get into it, to be honest with you. I mean, we said some pretty out there stuff at the beginning of the year. Some of it's pretty expected. But um, as we get towards the no, the back end of the year now, yeah, we'll see who's who's actually in for, for, for getting yes. most of those right. Who's in yeah. for the running. All right, yeah. let's, uh, let's kick it what, off. What, what we've got on the line here, boys? Pride, really, isn't it? Yeah, well, yeah. a little bit. Not too pride on the line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Right, let's get straight into it. Cool. What's, the, what's what we got first, then? We've got the women's strawweight division. Yes, let's have a look at that. Let's get our Yo. image up. So cool. this is what it looked like at the beginning of the year when we first visited and did our predictions. So on the left side there, Rose the Magn uh, Nama Nunes is up at number one. Um, and uh, of course, Yan and uh, Ryan Agent Chechek, two and three there. Yeah, a couple yeah, of swapsies. Um, you know, Carla Esparza up in number three, obviously. That's a big one because you beat Yan Jinan. Mm -hmm. um, and another one as well was... Mackenzie Mass Dern. A massive jump. Yes. 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 Big just jump for Mackenzie Dern. Mm. A massive jump. Wow. I know. So she's nearly there for title contention. Yeah. Um, I was going to say, man. Angela yeah. Hill's pretty much around the same, which is going to go down too. Yep. Yeah, she was sort of knocking around the, that mark for a while now. Mm. Um, in terms of top 10, um, yeah, no one, no, not many it's new basically additions. basically similar. A couple yeah. of changes. Yeah. yeah. Apart from uh, Mackenzie Dern's rise, mm. it's it's the chop and change, really, of, of the rest of them. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, Nina Ansarov is now Nina Nunes. So that's one change. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, that's the, that, the name. That's the biggest change. <laughs> it's a name change. That's funny. Shall we have a look at what yeah. we said for this particular division? Yes, then? let's go for so it. I think we all picked the same on this one, didn't we, yes, boys? We, we did. all went for uh, Whaley in this, didn't we? We did, yeah. Yeah. Um, oh, it's crazy. So we all said that Z Whaley Zhang would, uh, would remain champion in this Be division. By the end um, of the year. But of course, you got beat by Rose, um, of course. And what card was that now? Was that the the, um, yeah. That was the Oliveira one, wasn't it? Uh, Charles Oliveira. Uh, yes. Uh, card. yes so was, yeah. UFC 262 yeah. uh, is when she took that. Mm. Um, but, I mean, is it likely that Zang could get it, it back? Uh, I was going to say, the potential possible. rematch is there, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. So. We know that Rose is training at the moment and we, I think yeah. she, she will defend towards the end of the year. Mm. I've predicted yeah, that it would be it. on the same card as uh, which uh, Usman versus um, Covington potentially? Yeah, Ooh, they do train together. Yeah, or, yeah. Or they similar yeah, teams, similar been, camps. Yeah, ex yeah, exactly. Yeah. So is it going to be Whaley Zhang or could it be Carla Esparza? Oh, exactly. That's what I'm worried about because obviously Ooh. Carla Esparza's got a win over Rose. Yeah. So she does. Yeah. So what's the potentials uh, at the end of this year? Could be yeah, could so be Zhang. Could be still, Rose. Could still, be our pick is still potentially on. Yeah. 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 For now. For now. Yeah. But for now. Do I think it's still on? I don't think it is. I don't think the UFC are going to give Zhang the rematch. Yeah. Nor do I. Nor do I. Just the way it happened. Obviously, if it was like um, uh, you want to enjoy check versus Wei Li, then you got to do it again. Yeah. yeah. But because it that was, was just the that way was that Rose good. knocked her out. I. I. Yeah. For me, I. But obviously, it's potentially still there because nothing's been booked yet. No, isn't it six so, months she's got to have out now from after like a knockout like that as well? I mean, that was a clean knockout too. I mean, she tried yeah. to stand up and she couldn't at the end afterwards. Yeah. So yeah. I, that, that's all a knockout. I think she's yeah <coughs> towards the back end of the year. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. But yeah, I, I think he's potentially still there. I honestly thought Whaley was just going to last to the end of the maybe. year. I, you know, it's, yeah. she, she yeah, looked same. really good when she did yeah. when she won the title, and I thought she'd be a tough customer for Rose, but Rose caught yeah, with same. that head kick and mm. put her away. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, we'll see what happens next. So what do we say for this division? Then it's either going to be Rose, yeah, it's going to be Wei Zhang, or it's, it's, it's going to be Carla. Be May, it, it's, I was going to say it's potentially on because nothing's been booked yet. Mm -hmm. So we can't we can't say no because nothing's been booked. Yeah. So. But in terms of have... who it could be, it's, it's one of those three girls, really. I mean, we yeah. can't really say yeah, it's going exactly. to be yeah, Mackenzie Downey. That's it, mate. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, let's, then, let's check out the next card, yes, shall we? Let's move on. Then yeah. to the women's flyweight. Now, this one, this division hasn't really and budged. Cut. <laughs> what? 
Just get rid of that division. Oh, okay. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> say that. No. I was just saying, I've... move on. No. Get this division out. No, it's, a, it's a good There's division. No it's a good division. You've got some good up and coming people coming up. Um, you know, Ma- Ma- Miranda Maverick, we thought was going to make a bit of a rise, but unfortunately yeah, she's... Did. That was a disgusting decision. Yeah, there. she did and lose a decision that, to Macy Barber, which was an interesting yeah, fight. Disgraceful. Yeah. Um, the other clear one in there was... Obviously, well, you got Caitlin Jukasian and Laura Murphy holding it uh, down at the mention, top. I did, yeah. men- I did mention her, but obviously because Audi Sevchenko's already got a win over her, then mm. you can't really do the rematch just yet. And like um, we said earlier in the week uh, when we were messaging each other about Laura Murphy, yeah. is yeah. Uh, fighting for the be- is fighting Shevchenko. Yeah, I don't see Shevchenko losing that to be honest. No. Um, then if later on in the year, I don't will Shevchenko fight again? I'm not sure, but. That's definitely definitely a W for all of us on that mm. one. Yeah, <laughs> but um, but yeah, we all went Shevchenko. You're right for the division. Yeah, the, the pick still stays the same yeah. for me. It's still Shevchenko. Yeah, yeah, I think I think we could. We're, we're quite confident of it. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I really can't see Laura Murphy causing Shevchenko problems. She's on no. a rise right now. No. She had a dominant performance against Jessica Andrade, mm. which happened between yeah. you know um, when we last did the video until now. So. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, I yeah, I, I really can't see Laura Murphy stopping yeah, her. But I think yeah, we so might confident. It. It's yeah. one of my confident picks. Mm. But I'm sure it's your guys confident as well. Yeah, but who knows? The MMA gods could shock us, and we might see that an insane upset. You know, we've seen upsets before in the sport. <laughs> you never know. We have. We have. Okay, so let's look at the women's bantamweight division then. And as you can see, there's not too much movement in this one either. We've got um, Misha Tate, who's a new entry. Yeah, she yeah, recently. True. Yeah, it was a good fight as well. A yeah. Big new entry. Uh, good to see her come back. Really good. Definitely big, big new entry. Yeah, apart from that, you've got Julia um, yeah. Avi- uh, Avila uh, stepping up. And much of it just looks the same, Obviously, doesn't it? Yeah. It does. Y- Yuriana Pe- uh, Pena, uh, she's gone down just a Yeah, just well, a, she a was spot. meant to fight for the for the belt, wasn't she? Mm. So. Yeah, now she's gone down to six in the division. Um, uh, fight, if, so she's if, gone if up, so. If that fight was re- rebooked, would you say that she would give Nunes many, many problems? <laughs> Uh, I, got, I don't think so but she looked game in the uh, press conference yeah. when she kind of like bursted in and started ask, asking Dana questions like she she was you yeah. know when's this fight going to book you know is it going to be the, the end of the year like she just spontaneously yeah. appeared out of nowhere yeah. so I think she, she's really yeah. game for this fight I don't think she beats Nunes though no True. let's see what we nah, said for this I'm, division I'm still confident my pick yeah yeah um, we you know clearly we all went for Nunes th- straight across the board yeah. we did and it's still very possible I think that f- fight with Pena is potential could happen yeah. before the end of the year mm. now at the time we yeah, potentially, at yeah. the t- time of recording the, the end of 2021 champ predictions video we yeah. did wonder whether N- Nunes would retire this year or not yeah of course of course yeah yeah we did say that we yeah because yeah, um, I mean she's achieved everything that she can, can achieve or needs to achieve she's got nothing more to prove yeah. is what we said wasn't it yeah um, so no one would blame her for doing that so, but I guess there's no flame or fire underneath her bum to sort of get her off that pedestal I mean yeah. if she can hold it down and it's just comfy isn't she she's yeah she's so- if she's happy to do it i mean as you can see on the left hand side there we have got some names underneath just in case yep nunez did decide <laughs> to retire but you know that's pretty much wiped out now we we know yeah. that she's definitely going to see out the end of the year yeah i mean why wouldn't you i mean there's no one like at all scary looking at her at the moment to get no. her yeah, all right then let's definitely. move on Solid then pick. next one up so next up, we've got the men's flyweight division. And now looking at this, we've got some movements, that's for sure. Yeah. You've got Askar Askarov, who's now coming to the frame at Nina number two. Mm-hmm. Pantojo has looked phenomenal this year. He's had some fights. Um, I think he's had some what, decision wins. And a new champion. <laughs> yeah, and we've clearly had a new champion as well. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's... A, Joseph Benavides is slipping out now. You know, where's, where's his at kind of thing. Kai yeah. Kaya France looks uh, pretty impressive as well yeah, from City Kickboxing. Up and coming. Up and coming. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so... It's, and then... Um, his opponent, you've got Cody... Uh, sorry, Cody Garnbrent, sorry. Yeah, yeah, so Cody's now going to be slotting in probably, you know, in the next couple of months' time. If and when, you know, he beats Kai Kaya France... So, um, you know, however you make of, of that fight. He's going to make some uh, some more changes to that division. Tyson Nam confidently yeah, keeping that bottom spot there. We for this division, didn't we, boys? Sorry. Yes, we yeah. did. Uh, yes, Should let's move on to the picks because... 
Let's check They're it out. Good. I mean, so I think we. This is probably the first one. We, yeah, we had different choices. Mm, yeah. So as you can see, that me and Sai have gone for Davis and Figure Radio, yeah. and we kind of yeah, we hope that he was going to beat Brandon Moreno the second time around. And yeah, but that's yeah, clearly. that's the thing. I didn't see Moreno doing exactly what he done. Like, I just thought that mm. obviously, um, obviously, Figure Radio come out the first time says he wasn't one hundred percent. He looked ready. Yeah, and like I thought, uh, like a hundred percent Figueredo. I don't think no one's going to beat he him. He was that. phenomenal. Yeah, yeah. Apart from obviously the uh, apart from obviously the guy that I did originally pick, which was obviously you can see that Alex Perez. Yeah, and that I know that uh, Alex Perez did lose to Figueredo, mm. but it was Figueredo was um, sorry Alex Perez was looking good in that fight. He just got caught in that guillotine. Yeah, but the reason I'd gone for Perez is because um just you never know with what was going to happen with Moreno and Figueredo the second time. Yeah. Mm. And I, I just thought that Alex Perez could potentially get another fight in the year and win that fight. And then possibly he could be the only one sort of left to fight Figueredo. But yeah. now it's Moreno. So, mm. well, there you go. Yeah. You know what I mean, so it's a little bit different. Yeah, it is. And, you know, I, I, Moreno was just, he, he, the fight, the first fight was really close against Davidson Figueredo. Yeah. But then that second one, he just blew it out of the water. He did. It was just phenomenal. Yeah, he was just hungry yeah, for it as right, well, yeah. wasn't he? He really yeah. was. It's such a rocky story as well. I mean, the guy was training in his garage and everything mm. in his new house that he had bought and his team was all around as well. And you know, he was running on the road with like the neighbors just sort of for yeah. his cardio. It's a, it's, it's a true rocky story. Um, or it's probably what Embedded wanted to make yeah. it out to look like at least. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, well, well deserved, I'd say. Great. Mm. Mexican heart really showed itself in the octagon that yeah absolutely but you know but i guess we've got to ask the question uh, fight, uh, title fights booked is there yeah is there any there, is figueredo gonna maybe. still get a belt back i, th- back? I thought them it might they want to be a book in and Moreno making his first defense they they are um they could run it back i think it's possible they're one on one now right so uh, no the first one was a draw yeah. right yeah yeah, first one was a draw so, and the Marino one. So, you know, so they, they, they could be a third. Of course. Uh, I don't really yeah. want to see a third right now, honestly. I think the division needs to move on from this. And I think Brennan Moreno could very well fight uh, either one, Askarov Asker or Perez, towards the end of the year. I don't know. Yeah, but that's the thing. Like I was just about to mention as well. You beat me to it, mate. Um, I was going to say, because that's what they were were going to kind of do, wouldn't they? Because it was mentioned that uh, Askarov obviously gave Moreno a good test. So were they going to do that? But then it was booked that Alex Perez was going to fight Askarov and then Askarov pulled out with injury. Yeah. Mm. And now Alex Perez is fighting, um, I think he's fighting match now, I think. Oh, um, um, yeah. oh, he could. I think he's fighting match now. Yeah, um, he's thinking... So uh, potentially, as as I mentioned, if he wins that fight and he wins it convincing, uh, convincingly, you just but don't when... know. But that fight... Is in October, though. right? I think that so, pretty much rules Alex Perez out for yeah, the year. That's what I mean. Yeah. Now that's it, d- it I mean. depends on whether that fight actually falls through, and then the UFC decide to put on a title yeah, fight with Moreno. Potentially, but yeah. I, that'd be fortunate. The cards are getting booked up now. You know, mm. it's pretty pretty difficult. I think there's not yeah, going to be that true. many title fights being made from you know now towards the end of the year. Yeah, it's just if and that's when. The thing, what it's crazy. What's what's going to happen? Because like you said. Um, do they do the rematch with Figueredo? You just don't know. I think he will fight again against yeah. Moreno. So who that's going to be up against? Um, not entirely sure, but mm. I reckon it'll be maybe January. You reckon? Yeah, yeah. I mean, just my, my, my picks probably at the window. I think. I reckon Moreno yeah. might might remain in that. Uh, title spot to to the end of the year, or yeah, or, uh, that's what I think as well. Moreno is going to yeah. stick it out. Fight no him. fight. Okay, you know. okay, then let's, yours, let's, you never know. Let's move yeah. on then. Let's yeah. move on. Up next, we've got the men's bantamweight, bantamweight division, division, which is very interesting. Okay, um, sugar. Yes, sugar. now another sugar for me. <laughs> <laughs> now in this time, we've seen the. We've seen the rise of Jose Aldo in this division, but he hasn't moved yeah, much. But we've also seen yeah. TJ Dillashaw return yep. against Corey Sanhagen, which was also amazing. Yep. We've seen Cody Garbrandt drop down due to that loss against Rob Font. Yep. Um, yeah, you know, it's still plenty of matchups to be to be made in this division. Um, a lot of matchups. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, we've got you know Marab Dushvili, who's looks phenomenal. His He's moved up one fire. spot. <laughs> Yes, it is. I mean, top 20, 50, 20 I'd say. Top 20 is, is pretty mm. fire. Um, yeah, it's it's you got Marlon Vera's taking a little bit of a step step up. Song of Dong's gone out. But um, 
yeah plenty of movement yeah yeah so, and um yeah we didn't see song you come back did we um he did no. he fought on the weekend didn't he and yeah. uh I, we yeah, it, we thought it, we thought he would step into the rankings to be honest yeah, after his, after his, after his wins 15 he's not yeah at he? least yeah i but, mean um, cody stammon hasn't been too active i think he he lost his fight in the he's year he fought once on this year, year uh, this year i think yeah, yeah but he lost mm-hmm. i would have thought right. he would have dropped out but that's quite surprising but nonetheless okay let's move on to the, to our picks then yes yeah, have a look yeah go for it mate yeah because this one's pretty interesting yes <laughs> oh so, there we go we went with uh Let's move on can we just move Aljo? On? <laughs> <laughs> so we went with Aljo, and then of course actually went for for Corey sanhagen now yeah i did yeah yeah that's that's i mean to, to, when tj dillashaw stepped into the division he obviously was that's, matched that's up with Corey. i didn't and think i did not think s- tj would come back He's put a spin on things, hasn't he? Yeah, he, yeah, he certainly. He has. He's mucked up my pick. <laughs> if TJ weren't coming back, then Corey would be next in line for Peter Yarn and Sterling. Yeah, he could yeah. could step in if if something was to happen to that fight. Mm. You know, if Peter Yarn got injured. Yeah, but we're not yeah, we're not even safe know. ourselves. I mean, I know no. we, were, we we said Aljamain, and in that time he did take the title. He stepped into the title shot, but um, yeah, at the same time, yeah. he, I mean, he could he, he might not remain there, stayed at the end of the year. We've got another no, matchup perhaps potentially there the for, for Peter Young. Happening. And Peter Young looked phenomenal in that first fight. He did. So good. Yeah. We thought Aljo was going to win convincingly in that fight. So, you know, yeah, we thought he was going to surprise us, but his performance yeah. wasn't that great. No. Nonetheless, he got the victory. Well, the he, had a good, he had a good... Convincing good, performance. I'd say a good three minutes. Sterling had a good three minutes until he just tired. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. he come out and I was like, oh my God, he's going to get Peter Young out there. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. nonetheless, he's he he's got fight. a lot to prove now coming into this yes. fight so yeah. this is still on for me inside yeah yeah it's still on yeah but it's, 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 it's possible I, I do i do like peter yarn to, to, to take the next uh the, the next one uh i do think that pm will do it but it is still possible yeah, I, I, I for think us not possible Yarn's for you at all. Sterling, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, mine's impossible yours is impossible at yep. this point in time sorry buddy uh, but that's locked in so it's going to be right. either be Aljamain impossible pick coming up don't worry it is, it is going to be either Aljamain Sterling or Peter Yan uh, titling this division at the end of the year we can confidently say yeah, yeah. because um, the, the title fight's happening um, a while away as well isn't it uh, oh. yeah I think it's October I mean we're going to get yeah, we're going to so yeah, we're going to show everything up in a sec anyways at the end so yeah get next yeah, I was going to say yeah Okay, next one. Potentially, imagine if Peter Yarn wins that, then your pick will be out the window. Yeah, but yeah. then again, if you're if if Sterling wins, you've solidified it. Yeah, so. that's it. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. All right, let's move on then to the featherweight division. We've had again oh, this for this God division. Sake, can I just get out? <laughs> I don't know what you was I'm on, mate. I've had another shocker. Yeah. I've had another shocker. This, this division has been all pick. over the place. Oh, yeah. Now, it obviously, has. we've had Zabit drop out due to inactivity. Yair Rodriguez yeah. has stepped down. Yeah. Um, you know, Max Holloway and Brian Ortega are pretty much holding it down at the top there. Yeah. Um, Arnold Allen, who's been pretty surprising, continuing his win streak. He's now in at number six. Yeah. Jeremy Stevens has basically been removed <laughs> completely. Yeah. Um, Dan Ige has looked pretty good so far, but he's only moved that one spot. Giga Chikadze uh, has been an, a yes. bit of an MVP so far this year. A new entry, a new entry mm-hmm. of Barbosa, because at the start of yes. the year, he was fighting at lightweight, and yeah. now he's moved down to featherweight. Yeah, he's moved up to number nine, and look, he's, he's he, impressive. Yeah, he's looking good. Really good, really good. Um, but yeah, and like I said, of course, Giga uh, Chikadze as well, really impressive talent in yeah, that division. Yeah, they're fighting, so that, yeah. that's going to be, that's gonna be uh, fire. a kicking war. Can't wait yeah. to see that, yeah. <laughs> right, okay, so let's see who we've picked for that one then. Yes. So I don't want to see. <laughs> <laughs> Again, well, as you can see, Sai's gone for Brian Ortega, I've gone for Brian Ortega, and Ashley's actually gone for Max Holloway. Ooh. Now, now tell us, yeah. what was your mind going through when you went for what Max Holloway? What were you thinking? Now, it's pos- so, it could have been possible, uh, but... I, I think it was at the time he beat uh, Cater, right? Yes. I, th- I think we did this after it, and he looked insane in that fight. Yeah. Now, I'll give you benefit of the doubt. Actually, I'll give you benefit yeah. of the doubt, because the volkanovsky Brian Ortega fight was meant to happen earlier, and it um, got scrapped due to COVID, yeah. didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's what... That's what I, that's, and I think it was in the pipeline of that happening, and it was happening roughly either about the time we did the video or just, just after. after. Yeah. yeah. And obviously then it, there was a whole mishap, like you said, with um, Volkanovski getting COVID. And then obviously they did the armor fighter. Yeah. So that kind of fucked me up really. Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously we all know how long the armor fighter takes to record yeah. and things like yeah, that. Yeah. So 
But um, like th- this fight's happening at the end of the year, so my pick's not really going to happen. Yeah, no, it's yeah. unfortunate. But I mean, because if that fight was originally going to happen and say Brian Ortega yeah, exactly. won, That's then I mean. he yeah. could have maybe could have defended against Max Holloway towards the end of this year. So, yeah. yeah, maybe. But yeah. that's ruled that one out, unfortunately. Which Sorry, buddy. Yeah. means that it is yeah, likely to be either uh, Volkanovski or Brian Ortega sitting yeah. in that top yeah. spot here yeah. at the end of the division at the end of the year. Indeed. Well, you lot are in the running again. Yes, we're in there again, <laughs> man. Yes. But yeah, well, anything can happen still. Indeed. Yeah, let's see if we get the rough some feathers. But uh, yeah, okay. That's confident enough. Let's have a look at the next cool. one. Cool. So now moving on, we're going to go to the men's Lightweight division, and it's Ooh. always stacked this division. Oh, yeah. Um, not Lots much has changed. Obviously, Conor McGregor dipping down <laughs> uh, yeah. several <laughs> spots there. Benil Dariush. Quite a tumble, isn't it? Yeah, Benil Dariush yes. has been the MVP so far in this division. Oh, yeah. yeah. Moving Agreed. up from nine to two. The no, most three, movement, sorry. I think, as well. Yeah, he's yes. the most three, movement. Yeah. Makachev as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Islam. Yeah. Another one, which we said during the Champions video, we were yeah, like... we did mention saying he'll be champion next, next year, though. Year. We did say yeah. that, didn't we? We've got new additions towards People the bottom like, there. We did say next year. Fiziev, uh, Sir Rafael uh, Fiziev. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fiziev, Fiziev, sorry. Yeah. And then, of course, He's Armin. Cracking. Uh, so, yeah, new additions there. Um, well, new addition, Rafael, and then, of course, Armin's gone down. Mm. But, um, mm. but yeah, no, it certainly looks quite good. Yeah, just have a look and see what our picks were for yeah. this division. What did we say? Didio. This one so, surprising. I went with Charles Oliveira. With Charles Oliveira. Jake, you went oh, for you Poirier. I did. I, Ashley yeah. also went for Oliveira yeah, as well. Went, I went for Charles so Oliveira look, as well. We 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 did it. We 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 called it right. And of course he's 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 in the top spot. Yeah. Um but uh, you know, how is he gonna hold it down? I mean, we got now it's it's quite yeah, dicey at the top. You got something like man. Dustin. Because obviously why has the fight not been announced yet? Like I don't know why Dustin Poirier versus um Charles Rivera has not been announced. Oh, I don't know. Mm. Uh, I, I don't know if it's because there's potential things happening elsewhere. Yes, that could um, be, unfortunately. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Which mm. I hope but, um, not, for my sake. Uh, but I, I can't remember why I mentioned Charles. I think I, I was saying that, um, I think I may have actually mentioned that Chandler potentially could fight Oliveira and I said Oliveira would win or or vice versa. I, I can't really remember, but I th- I mean, at the but time, Charles he, was on his way up and he was probably yeah, he was due I mean. He was putting people away. He was yeah. so good. But he was, like, this is probably one of our most exciting picks because we're all in a running for this. You know, the yeah. Charles yeah, Oliveira, yeah, this is, this, Dustin this, Poirier, yeah. and depending on the outcome of that, it's going to depend the victor here between yeah. the three of us. This is what I mean. The, the thing is with my pick with Charles Oliveira, I was confident at the time, but now the rise of Dustin Poirier, he just gets better and better and yeah. better. And I think Dustin Poirier beats I, Charles I think Oliveira. he can. I'm even very confident. I've, even though I've picked Charles Oliveira to be champion by the end of the year, Dustin Poirier beats him yeah. for me. Oh, I don't know. Time will tell. We'll see. Yeah, we don't know exactly yeah, what's going to exactly. happen, but we're all, but, in, the uh, all in the running. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. exciting. Man, okay, let's move on then. Next one. Yes. The welterweight division. Uh, okay. Okay. Nah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, unfortunately, my boy, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, is still in the same spot, but he's taken oh, a bit sugar, of a bump. you went for Wonderboy. <laughs> oh, we don't know yet. We oh, we don't know yet. We'll see. <laughs> Vicente Luque has clearly, uh, I think, been the MVP of this division so far this year. Oh, yeah. yeah um, Bilal Mohammed has looked pretty decent. Tyron Woodley has been completely removed. Yeah. Um, no longer around. Indeed. Some... I think Bilal Mohammed is up there with one of the MVPs of this division also. Yeah. What a rise from 13 up to nine. Um, yeah. And he's been having some really impressive fights as well. Um, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, another... Indeed, uh, yeah. Um, previously, was where was Leon Edwards ranked? Leon Edwards. Was he there? Prior to this. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, he's, he's three. number three, mate. He's still at three. He hasn't moved. He was, he was, yeah. he was number, oh, he's that, not moved. That top I three. They removed him. I thought they removed him when we did, we did the uh, video. No. Not. no, those top three look exactly no. the same, mm. um, actually. And yeah. I was saying in the, in the aftermath show earlier in the week, that um, Colby Colvington's just hogging the top spot and he's just not, he doesn't, he, he is, it's crazy. I don't think he deserves it. He's just not been active enough to, you know. Yeah. We, to be fair, the, the only thing I can give to Kobe being still being there is just that one is going to, it's going to be like sort of the press conferences and things like that are going to be beefy. Mm. And two, to be fair, I, I have to give it to him. He did give Usman a good test. Yeah. 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 No, absolutely. But yeah. And you know, it's the argument again, that Usman has been getting better, but with every single fight inside the octagon, yeah, exactly. outside the octagon and uh, Colby Colvington. Surprise, surprise. Just... Let's... That's what I mean. Yeah. 
I was going to say. Yeah, not been doing much himself. Santiago Ponzinibbio uh, coming in as well. Coming back up there is another one to watch out potentially, but mm. who knows, you know, can he get the job done? I wonder next? who we picked in this one, boys. Well, let's move on. Let's, have a, let's, let's see, let's see, let's see. So... Oh, up there we've got so, yeah Kamara Usman. <laughs> I went to Kamara Usman. Ashley went Kamara Usman as well, and uh, JK went yeah. Stephen Thompson. Yes, wonder boy. And I was quite confident because I thought that it was Go going on. to be time. What's that, going on up there? Well, of course, I thought it was going to be time that Kamara Usman yeah. fights someone new. It could have it happened. Could have it was a bit of a flash in the pan, I'm afraid, at the time. Yeah, but unfortunately that fight didn't materialize because Usman fought Masvidal yeah. instead probably should have fought yeah. Wonderboy but oh well you know I'll take that one as a loss yeah yeah and okay it was a uh, yeah it wasn't it, when was the last when, when did when did Wonderboy Thompson fight actually when was that uh, Wonderboy yeah, lost yeah, the Burns yeah, very recently it. that was uh, yeah but that's what I'm saying if and Wonderboy would have won that fight yeah um, don't know. Um, I don't think it matches up with the time scale. It's still got Colby, still Leon Colby. Edwards. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, Sugar. Yeah, because it's at the end of the year. It's, yeah, it's you're stacked, right. you know. I mean, even Vicente Luque after his last performance, he's got tweeted from Kamaru Usman himself saying, um, "You know, we might even be dancing soon." Yeah. Um, so I mean, yeah. that's another one in there. Where, I mean, he's got so many people waiting to fight him. It's crazy, and um, everyone is everyone there pretty much deserves it as well. Yeah. The yeah. question is. Where you can, yeah. can you fit them all in? Not this no. year, certainly. I think next year it's going to be really good. I think for for Kamara Usman, mm. um, you know, obviously if he if he beats Co- Covington, he's going to go through some new challenges. You've got you know Leon. He's going to be pound Kante for Luque, pound. So. Yeah, we could be potentially talking about it. Yeah, uh, who knows? I'm confident on this, yeah. Confident on this one. All right, okay. You guys are confident. Let's then move on. Yeah, locking that one in. Kamara Usman end of the year. Still think that's yeah. going to be the case. Oh, oh, oh this, this one's. A, oh no, it's not this one. It's the next yeah. one. Yeah. So, middleweight so, division. Yes, the middleweight division. Um, not much has changed, really. Derek Brunson, I think, in this division has been pretty impressive by taking out um, yeah, he is, yeah. uh, Kevin Holland yep. uh, to get back mm-hmm. up there. Um, uh, other than otherwise, it's not been too much, really. Edmund Shabazian stepping into top 10. Any. Yeah. Which is decent. Teal's gone well, up by accident. Uh, no, he's gone down. He's at seven now. <laughs> Oh, gone down, sorry. I'm looking, yeah. <laughs> I did the same. Darren, Darren Till's gone down by, well, not accident, just due to inactivity, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. Vittori up there, though. Um, yes. So he was five before. He's now just gone to four. Um, but yeah, that, that whole top three is looking exactly the same. Costa, mm. Cannonier, yeah, and yeah. Robert Whitaker. Yeah. Also waiting up there. I mean, the yeah, wings. you had Vittori beating Kevin Holland, and then he got the title shot against Izzy, of course. Mm. Um, which was quite yeah. unfortunate, but other than that, I think he's looked pretty good uh, mm. performance-wise. Yeah, anyway, um, we also just saw Sean Strickland fight, and he's gone yeah. from very bottom of that division yeah, up to looking, knocking looking on a door of top well, ten, to nearly yeah. there. But um, yeah. he he put in a really impressive performance, actually. So. Yeah, absolutely. And I th- like, like, like uh, I will say, because obviously um, that he's matched up with Luke Rockhold mm. uh, now, isn't mm, he? Potentially, I-, I doubt we would have mentioned it in um, the predictions earlier in uh, this year. But Luke Rockhold would probably is probably the one that would give Izzy his toughest test for me. Potentially, skill set wise, yes. But Rockhold's chin will it hold up? That's the question. He's chinny true. as fuck, so I wouldn't yes, be confident. I, I do agree with you, but then you have the question, which happens all the time: is you know, is he the guy to get Izzy down? Can he get him down? Yeah, that's true. Really, yeah. um, difficult. Do you have a look at what we said for this division? Yeah, go on then. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's going to be confident, but yeah, I, I went for Robert Whittaker. Oh, you did. You now, did. there was a reason for that. Yeah, go on. Explain the uh, method to the madness. Yeah, go on. Give us your logic on that one then, mate. <laughs> I can't really until we've done the next division. Uh, okay. Can I? Okay. Because we we did this video oh, yeah, 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 yeah. before yeah, true, the yeah. Yun fight. Yeah. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah, and you thought, okay, yeah. yes, yes. So yes, my yes. logical thinking. Oh, yes, because you two both. Because oh, yes. we thought that he was going to beat Yun, right? Yeah. Yeah. But Whereas then, you, for some reason, thought that Izzy was going to hold both belts down. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> personally, I, I didn't think he was going to leave this division. Um, I mean, this was like more his, his bread and butter. I mean, if he's he's got that one. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, What's wrong with that? He could probably hold it. Yeah, I, 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 I definitely agree with your on. logic there because yeah. obviously, if Izzy would have beaten Jan, then Whitaker definitely would have won the belt. Yeah, the, yeah. Towards the end of the year, he probably would have done Robert Whitaker for the vacant belt. 
I thought stylistically after, yeah. you know, getting the weight out, out of the way, um, you know, his abilities would cause problems for the light heavyweight division as well. I mean, no one can move like he can in, in the light heavyweight division. I mean, we, we, we could have so seen Robert Whittaker versus um, Vittori for the interim belt. Yeah. That oh, could yeah. have happened. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Now, Izzy has fought twice this year? Does yeah. he normally fight twice? I can't think. Or is it three times? Uh, I don't think it's normally three times. No, three times would be a very uh, active year. Yeah. Um, but, um, I can't. So is the, the question is... Is there going to be another Izzy fight this year? Mm, I don't think. Not likely. I think we're past it. Yeah. yeah you, nothing's booked yet, mate. No. Nothing is booked. So, so far... We're still in the running without Ashu and I. Still in the running. I don't think I've yeah. got one out of the running yet. One, oh, don't be silly. No, I don't think you have. Played it safe the whole the time. One, Played oh. it safe. Oh, just... just Until the next I'm one, just, I'm just mystic meg oh, hang, on hang on can i just uh before you move on, Go on have you gone for anyone else other than the champion <laughs> <laughs> exactly I have. I have i have uh so who do I like no i haven't <laughs> <laughs> but look who's right look who's right but actually hold on let's get up to the next screen shall we we'll see we'll a, see uh, uh, oh, oh, yeah. oh, until now yeah, here we go here we go to the next screen yeah the, the light heavyweight division so some moves I mean uh, the, the top spot still Glover Tech Share so he's holding mm. that down now, and Jamal Hill slides. hold down the bottom spot so that's sort of the same just everything in between has, has really had a bit yeah. of a shuffle now ginormous yes. rise of Yuri. Prashaka oh yeah right. Yuri Prashaka oh, do you know what he's actually goodness, he's actually Five going to be to standing two. in he's actually going to be standing in if either Glover yeah I, I heard that as well or yeah. Jan pull out crazy yeah. so Wow. I tell you what, yeah, in and him at number five would have been really good pick, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. But that's if something happens between Glover or well, Glover. Mm. Yeah. Just Glover. Um Shall we see what we said. Yeah, let's go I'm for just it. Just trying to think of any people that are uh, obviously you've got Johnny Walker versus Chago Santos, obviously Santos no. well, and Kalias has uh, made a bit of a jump. Um, you know, he's he, he's, he's fighting uh, um Uzdemir, isn't he? Who? Yeah, and, and Clive is fighting news to me. Oh, oh, yes, that's right. Yes. Yeah, so that's potential. And then obviously Ratic, I, I see him all the time, every day on, on Twitter. Yeah. Ranting and raving that he wants to fight. And he, obviously, <laughs> He's he gone from out, four uh, to five. Yeah. He hasn't fought all year, has he? No, um, he hasn't fought since he beat Santos. No, yeah. end of last year, yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, and obviously Ryan Spann has now been announced yeah, as fighting um, Anthony Smith. Let's get into the picks, boys. Yep. Let's, let, let's see, uh, see your interesting picks in this one, boys. Okay. Let's have a look. All right. <laughs> ah, so. Ah, there they this, are. There they are. This, this is, this is. <laughs> do you know what I spoke too soon? I think we speak for most people, really, uh, when they thought Izzy was going to beat Jan. Let's face it. Yeah. And that's the reason why we've gone for that Tentary. pick. But now we look stupid. Yeah, really stupid, especially when he sort of like fought the whole fight on his back, pretty much. Yeah. Just yeah, Jan's ability I, I to get him down see... and use his weight as a weapon. That's the thing. I, I, don't, I don't know if I saw that coming. All I thought was obviously, I don't know why I was thinking this, but I I, I may have mentioned it, uh, obviously picking him because I must have. I was saying about uh, obviously Juan's Polish power. Yeah. And I was just thinking uh, Juan would uh, catch him. You didn't but... You didn't pick him by choice. You were threatened by all the Polish boys at work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if uh, I remember correctly. Uh, <laughs> you had all your Polish employees. Come just, on now. Come I, on. I, I, just, I just went, uh, the bigger, he's a big guy. Is he's quite a skinny guy. I was, right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So The logic, but it turned out. My pick's still there. It's still there. So are you picking Jan to beat Glover though? What's your opinion on that? Yes. Yes. Yeah, really? Okay. I'm picking Jan to beat Glover. Yeah. I mean, I like Glover. I really do like Glover. I, like, um, I do like I'd Glover like as well, win. but I just, yeah, I'd be great, wouldn't it? Yeah. I, to be fair, that would be great, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. At his time. age, yes. he is is. You're the only crazy, one in uh, in contention for this one, actually. Yeah, actually, if it comes yeah. up at the end of the I year, am, yes. but I mean, I, I pick Yuri um, Prashaka to beat both of those guys. Should uh, should he step in eventually? Yeah. Oh yes. Uh, same next with me. year. I think if, it's if, be a good uh, year that'd be crazy. Mm. I tell you what, Juan versus uh, Pashaka. Oh. I've uh, in Poland. Fucking do it, man. Do it. Do it. Let's have that. Do Let's it. have that. Mm. But uh, yeah, no, that's a really yeah, exciting. Yuana and Jacek on the card as well. Oh, don't. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Whaley and Yuana as co-main. <laughs> oh, oh, run that back. It. Let's put it on each. Run that. <laughs> Ring it, yeah, mate. Dana, <laughs> get on the blower. <laughs> JK's called another banger. <laughs> um, all right, yeah, I think that concludes that one then. Let's yeah, move on to one. the heavyweight divisions, the last one. Yes, oh, they're ready, yeah. So, um, 
Yeah, this is quite interesting, actually. So we've had a phenomenal rise. Well, Cyril Garland was only it was in at four yeah, at had. the beginning of the year anyway, yeah. but um, stole that interim champ. champ there now. Yeah, MV- MVP for the year at heavyweight, one hundred percent. Yeah, no, yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah, hundred percent. Francis agree. winning the belt against Stipe was very impressive, of course. Mm. But you know, yeah, you got to give it to Gunn, of course, for being how you know so, so active. active. Three yeah. fights. Yeah, got the interim hey. belt. Boom. Yeah, um, and being, what the, guy, being the guys that he has as well, and the way he done it, like obviously Rosa Strike, like uh, I do hate him. Probably you're, everyone will probably get bored of me and Jordan saying that Gang is not a boring fighter. He's not. He's, he is that yeah. good. He is that good yeah. that he can he can just make it look easy. Yeah, man. Like Especially in the he basically sparred division. with Rosa Strike. Yeah. Obviously, everyone said, "Oh, he danced right." It's because he can. That's what I mean. Have you ever seen a heavyweight dance on the balls of his feet like Gang and just jab someone's face off? Yeah. Nah. Not quite. Crazy. I haven't really. No. On, Crazy. Honestly, the way this guy moves is like, it's, 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 it's so impressive. But I think it's something that's going to yeah. make this whole entire division sort of have to up their game. He's a new era. He's a whole yeah. new breed of fighter. Yeah. You know, he's someone who's got great cardio. He moves really well. Yeah. Um, great striking ability. Great knockout power. Good jiu-jitsu as yeah. well. Mm. It's underrated. No, no one's not, it's not seen that much, but he's got good jiu-jitsu, good, good wrestling. Yeah. yeah. He's going to do to this division what Tiger Woods done to golf. Yeah. Now, moving on to some of the guys who have <laughs> entered the division. Now, we've a lot, had a lot of people who have dropped out during that time. Obviously, mm-hmm. Alistair Overeem and Junior Dos Santos, um, who moved out of the organization. Yeah. And you've got the, the rise of Tom Aspinall in there now and Marcin Tabora, yeah. who's had quite a bit of a jump. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, um, it's, heavyweight is getting pretty excited, I must admit. Yeah. You know, for what was a dinosaur division for a while. Yeah. Certainly a lot of movement there. Shall we see what we pick? Yes. Let's go. Let's go. So uh, I'm sure we all picked the same I think thing. We did. I should have gone for Garn. Uh, it's not gonna be like, you know, we did go for Garn. We said Garn next year, though. Next year, we, we said Garn next yeah. year. I think we did a Makachev on we that did. one. We said that uh, Garn would be next year. I'm I'm sure me and Jordan mentioned it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We but we, we probably did. We're fans of Garn, and as you can see, Francis and Garnu um, across the board at the moment. And I think it's safe to say yeah. that there isn't going to be another fight, really, in the heavyweight division. Mm, well, I mean, I don't know. Uh, well, well, potentially, still yeah, and Francis and Garnet, right? Yeah, no. not yet, though. Yeah, yeah, no, I think he means after. Yeah, it could be okay. January, February, or, I reckon. I think Garn's going to take some time yeah, out because he's had, he's been, yeah. he's yeah. three times this year. He's been so, three, f- three times this year. Yeah. yeah. And, unless something dr- drastic happens, I don't know, because obviously they can't do nothing now. Cause, um, and Francis was ready to fight come like September, even August. He was yeah, ready. He was, he was ready yeah. to go. So, it, I mean. But that's the thing, like, it was kind of muggish when yeah. it happened because obviously, come on, the story of Francis Garnet. In France and Ghana is great. Yeah. Like the guy wanted to take some time off, celebrate his victory. Yeah. Um careful what you wish for now. Because now he's got off. too much yeah. time off. Personally, I reckon that what Ngani is what, what Cyril Garn's gonna do to this division is exactly what Tiger Woods done to golf, pretty much. And I'm quite confident on that. The guy's impressive. Yeah, mm. no, absolutely. Yeah. Um time will tell, but I'm predicting next year. Yeah. Well, I'm still confident with uh, Francis going this year, gain next year. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Lock that in. I think that's, that's safe to say that um, I think we did the right with the picks, though, surprisingly. Yeah, yeah, we well, did. Uh, so it was, far. I mean, it was, it was a still tricky half, one. Yeah. I, I had a bit of a crafty one. Yeah, yeah. It was a bit dicey and choppy. You got, you, you, I had a bit you, of a mare at the start. Yeah. I gradually got I did play it safe a lot. And uh, you, you, yeah, you gambled. again, sorry? I did play it safe a lot. You gambled quite a bit. No, just, just one more time. What, something wrong with that? <laughs> All right, so that's fair. that pretty much concludes everything. Uh, we've got some people still in the running for picks, some people completely out. I yeah. mean, time will tell, yeah. but, you know, we've made our little predictions and uh, we hope you guys enjoyed it. And, of course, um, feel free to get your predictions in the yes, comment section definitely. below who you yeah. think is going to be champion by the end of the year. Um, and it's going to be exciting. If we're being ridiculous, tell us. You know, I mean, we, we put picks now. I think I'm quite confident in how, how we've just narrated that and how it's going to turn out, I reckon. But, you know, yeah, we'd love to see your comments. Drop them in the, the, the chat and descriptions and stuff below. Yeah, yes. absolutely. And if you haven't watched the first video already, please do uh, watch it. It's quite impressive. Uh, you can see how... How we've improved. Oh, we've come a long years. way. We've come a long to way. How we've improved oh, all the way back then to now is crazy. You could probably tell when we had the before up and the afters up, the before was just so yes. difficult to read because technology back then must yeah. have been... Well, our technology. <laughs> but, uh, <let's> that. <laughs> but nonetheless... Typewriter, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but nonetheless, please do check that video out. That will be in the description. Yeah. So, um, you know, and we've got no UFC this weekend. So we thought we'd treat you guys oh. to something to at least dig into. Nice. But, 
Please do join us next week as we'll be doing a watch along, of course, for the Jerry Cannonier versus Calvin Gastelum fight. That's going to be a pretty yes. interesting card. Yeah. And um, yeah, you know where to where to grab us. And if you want to stay up to date with all of our stuff, do follow us on Twitter as well down below there. Um, and, you know, stay up to date with things that we post, uh, whether it be funny yeah. things, news things, and um, you won't be disappointed. little clips um, of videos and things like that. But yeah, you won't be disappointed. And don't forget, yeah. if you love the UFC, this, this is, is a place, place to, to be. be. Of course. Be. We're okay. ATF. <laughs> I'm JK. This is Sai, And that's Ash. And we'll see you next time. Who's right? Yeah, there who, is, who yeah. come out with more picks? I think I did yeah. so far, and, and then, we're, we're not even we're not even yeah, talking. Just, and, 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 and then he copied you and put. <laughs> Am I wrong? And then he copied you and put in Charles Oliveira. Oh yeah, there you go. Charles yeah, Oliveira yeah. wasn't That's, actually actually champion. actually. Let's let's rewire because he didn't really know okay, I that many people. Oh no, hang on. You should have gone for Rich Frankly. No. <laughs> <laughs> Rich, frankly, I forgot about that. <laughs> Honestly, oh, of course, yeah, but <laughs> so I don't. He couldn't. He couldn't think of Ronda's name yesterday. He was like, "Oh, who's that girl?" Oh, not uh, ru, 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 ru. I was like, "Not Amanda Ribas," because that wouldn't make no, sense. no, no, no. Ronda, Ronda. I was like, How could you forget Ronda Rousey of all people? Just, I don't know, just too many, too many rock star girls in the division. But yeah, I was just commenting on the how how good she was. In that.